Okay. So welcome to the DevNet Zone. I'd like to know who many, how many people here are, this is your first time at Cisco Live. Wow, quite a few. All right. Um, and so this area right here is the DevNet Zone. So it's all things developer related. And on the DevNet website, developer.cisco.com, we have what are called the learning labs. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. All right. There we go. So I'm gonna give you a brief introduction about myself, um, explain what are the learning labs, what's new in the learning labs, and help you get started on where you should start. If you haven't used the learning labs before, or if you're new to programmability and automation. So a brief introduction about myself. I'm a developer experience technical lead within Cisco. Um, I've worked for Cisco for 10 years now. I specialize in documentation, specifically developer documentation and RESTful APIs. And uh, let's see. And before I did that, I used to be a developer support engineer and a, a front end developer. So my background is on the software side of things as opposed to the hardware side of things. So right now we have this beautiful picture. Um, this was, I took this picture in uh, Acadia National Park and I went there to go rock climbing for the first time. And I believe in learning by doing. So I actually hired a guide and got suited up and, and went rock climbing, which was really awesome, especially with the on the shore and the waves uh, up, bumping up against the cliffs. Um, and this was a picture that I took while I was going up. And um, again, I like to <laughs> uh, elevate my skill set and by learning by doing. So. If you're interested in the learning labs, I want you to be able to, to get hands-on and, uh, and learn by doing as well. So, brief overview of the learning labs. Um, they're self-paced, step-by-step tutorials. So you'll go online and it's like, step one, do this. Step two, do this. You read at your own pace, go at your own pace. And each learning lab um, will, will show you how to complete a specific use case whether it's maybe using Meraki's API for the first time, or uh, learning how to use a, a Python script to automate your network. Um, the, we have different learning labs, ranging from programmability, automation, security, um, and each learning lab can be uh, completed within 40 minutes or less. Most of them are, are less than that. And um, so right here we have one browser window. This will be for your learning lab, and these are the instructions. And some learning labs will tell you to go to our DevNet sandboxes and reserve a sandbox. Um, if you do need to reserve a sandbox, it usually takes about 15 minutes uh, to set up. And you, if it's uh, a reserved sandbox, you will have to VPN into it. And some learning labs require you to install Python 3 on your computer, install Git, install Docker. Um, so it's quite a few steps. And then don't forget to hop on one foot and pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. Oh my gosh, that's too many steps. <laughs> so uh, that's the old way of doing the learning labs. We've now revamped the learning labs. Not all of them, but some of them. So that could all be in one browser. <clears throat> So here are, this is your table of contents. This is your content. And here we have a file editor and a terminal. So um, you can actually run the scripts, update the files, uh, use your terminal um, to, to run the scripts, and it's all in one browser now. Now you don't need to go to the sandbox, wait 15 minutes to reserve it. Um, it's all set up for you. <clears throat> So um, up here is your, your editor, your file editor, and here's your terminal. And uh, what you'll do is, uh, as you read through it, it'll show you um, what commands to use. And you just click on this button here to run it. And um, that command will show up in your terminal. And then you would just press Enter, and, um, and then it'll, it'll actually go through the code for you. <clears throat> 
Uh, it also has a built-in file system. So in here, you could have multiple Python scripts running. Um, you can create new files, um, you know, and then update them, update them here. Um, and all of this is all pre-configured, all pre-loaded in the learning lab. So as soon as you, you update, you open the learning lab, it'll generate all the files for you. Um, and then some of the learning labs, you actually have to go into Python and, and update um, the code. <clears throat> so what can you do in these interactive learning labs? Well, um, you saw there was a terminal, so you can run CLI commands. Uh, you can update the files and folders, run scripts. And the learning labs um, require you to log in. And the purpose of that is to track your progress. So let's say you're on like the third page of a learning lab, and then you want to go grab a cup of coffee, that's fine. It remembers where you were, and you can start where you left off. Um, and then we're going to talk more about learning modules and learning tracks in just a minute. We also have a feedback form. And, um, and the interactive labs, no laptop setup is required, meaning you don't need to download Python on your computer. You don't need to download Docker. It's all running in the browser now. Um, so this is how, how we've structured it. So we have individual learning labs. Um, like this learning lab uh, explains how to use the Meraki location scanning API. This learning lab um, tells you how to use webhooks. So each um, learning lab is, is like an individual topic. And what we've done is then we've grouped them into a module. So learning module is just a group of learning labs. And then what we've done is we've also grouped modules. So a group of modules it will then become a learning track. Um, so this allows you to say to kind of skip to different learning labs, like, oh, I'm not interested in that. I just want to go to this one. But it'll also say, uh, you know, you could also see what other learning labs are available because they're grouped in the same, same module or track. Uh, and this kind of just sums up what I've said. So the, the, each individual learning lab you can do, uh, most of them in less than 40 minutes. If you wanted to complete a whole module, which is a group of learning labs, you can do that within a few hours. And then usually a whole learning track would take uh, a, couple, a few days. Um, some tracks are, are larger than others. So if you're thinking, where should I start? Um, this is the website to get to the learning labs, developer.cisco.com slash learning. And it's a, it's a big, long page. And you can, at the top of the page, we have a search bar. So if you're interested in Meraki, if you're interested in uh, IOX, if you're interested in ACI, type whatever it is that you're interested in learning and, and click search. And it'll show you all the labs related to that particular topic or all the modules and all the tracks. Um, if you, on that page, developer.cisco.com slash learning, if you scroll down to the just starting out section, I recommend taking a look at this learning track, coding and APIs. It assumes you've never used an API before, you don't know how to code, it starts from zero, so if you're new to that, I suggest going to the uh, coding and APIs learning track. Um, when you click on that, it'll show you these are the two modules within the coding and APIs track. And if you notice this little symbol here, this means that it's interactive. So this means it has the built-in development environment with the terminal and the file editor. So you know we've just rolled out this uh, interactive uh, learning labs. So only the learning labs with this icon have it all built into one. So who's ready to go for a climb? Demo time. OK. So enough about me talking about it. Let's. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me make it bigger. Let's go to developer.cisco.com slash learning. OK. Uh, you can, um, let's see. So I said, scroll down here. 
Here's the just starting out section. Here's the coding and APIs. So let's click on start track. Do I need to make this bigger? It's kind of small. OK. Start this track. Start this module. Uh, you will need to log in. You can use uh, any of these uh, to log in. I'll go ahead and log in with my Cisco ID. And uh, everybody loves two-factor authentication. <laughs> I know, it's, it's my favorite. OK, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. Um, so here, this is, this is the beginning of the lab. And this starts explaining, why use APIs? Why are they important? And it has a little bit of code. Let me click on the, uh, let's see, hold on. So you can see here, these icons on the left-hand side is just, that's all reading material. And then when you get to the interactive part is this little icon here. So let's start learning. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use curl to make our first get request. All right, the terminal's ready to go. File editor's ready to go. So um, I'm going to click on this button. And let me bring it up. Make this bigger. Ah. So I clicked on this button, and it copied this script into my terminal for me. See, it says curl. And, um, and then this is the actual response from uh, running that curl command. So what's nice about this is previously in the learning labs, uh, you'd have, you copy and paste. And uh, maybe you didn't copy the full URL or something else. This one, I could just click the button. And, and see it in there, and then, and then get the response immediately. So uh, let's see. Let me scroll down. You guys can read this stuff later. Um, these are just more curl commands. More curl commands. Click on Next. And then it talks about XML. And uh, there's this deck of cards API. I can run that. Let's see. And that's to get a new deck of cards. Um, and so this one is just you know very beginner level. So it's just all it's doing is uh, copying the commands into the terminal and then running them. But then we have more advanced learning labs where you can actually uh, go into the editor and update the Python scripts. All right, let me go back. Uh. So um, if you're interested in developing new skills, whether it's automation or programmability, go to the learning labs at developer.cisco.com learning. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you.